Welcome back to H fans ready game replays co2.org we are back for game three of the reddit 1v1 tournament finals between Tommy and Pepsi what did you think about that last game Sarge? Uh, I don't know it's an interesting game to think about I'm still not entirely sure well I know what happened Pepsi took his eye off the ball but um, I don't think it's it's as bad as it could be. It did look very one-sided, but you make mistakes. And I think Pepsi made the right decision to throw the towel in early, rather than try and grind out a frustrating loss for 20 minutes. I mean, playing the best of five is a fucking endurance event. You've got to save your energy. You've got to focus. You've got to move forward. And I think he, uh, you know, made the right tactical choice there to throw in the towel when he did. Yeah, it would have been a massive uphill battle from uh, Pepsi fighting with, you know, understrength. I think. I'm fairly certain he lost his, uh, his his second engineer, the sweepers. He had his flamers remaining, and if that third rifleman squad would have died on retreat, he would have had one flamer and one rifleman squad against Tommy's two Volks. The bike did go down, but it's just the bike. Uh, you know, he had two Volks, two MGs, and a sniper on the field, and just had his cutoff taken. It would have been impossible. It's better to save your stamina for you know uh, the oncoming onslaught of you know three remaining games if it goes to that. It's 1-1 yeah. now. And I have to wonder if in the first game, you know, you look at the way it kind of played out. Tommy had a very good start, and then Pepsi came back, and I think Tommy got a little bit confident. I think that settle game, second game, is going to settle his nerves down. I am really fascinated to see how this one plays out. Yep, and Pepsi has opted to go for Panzer Elite, one of his strongest factions in my opinion. I think I actually discussed this with the Count Eliminator uh, over on Reddit uh, the other day. Uh, you know, his US and PE are, are very strong. <clears throat> and, you know, his Wehrmacht are very good as well. But we figured that he, you know, he would really, uh, really uh, choke out Tommy uh, with his Americans. Very nicely played flanks and whatnot. But, you know, that last game, it just didn't happen for Pepsi. He just got, yeah, you know, he basically just rolled over and died. So, let's see what happens, man. Are you good to go? I'm good to go at the five-second mark. I'll be following Tommy as the Americans on North Longra. You uh, go for Pepsi's P. It's unpause. good, man. Let's do it. Unpause in three, two, one. Unpause. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's see, Tommy so, is opting for go for a 3 yes again. So what's your current opinion of the balance state between the Panzer Elite and Americans right now? I think Panzer Elite versus American play is very interesting. Uh, I, I think it's fairly balanced. I actually enjoy seeing these two factions uh, fight against each other. Uh, you know, uh, the only real faction I have any, you know, any problems with are British at this time. I just think... Uh, we all uh, you know, know what yours with the British are and no one has to hear yeah. about the shit here. Yeah, exactly. Everybody knows, and uh, you know, there's not much to say uh, what hasn't been said already. But yeah, three and a near start, and Tommy's doing a little tricky uh, build your barracks 50% done and complete it with a third and a near. And we have an early doctrinal choice, camouflage ability obtained, so we're going to see a sneaky, sneaky, invisible Kettenkrat for Luftwaffe. Yeah, Luftwaffe is, I think, the strongest faction for PE at this time. It's I think very it's worth well it just for that cat and crowd on its own. Yeah, you know, having superior scouting units on the field with the cloaked cat and uh, it can really win you every single engagement uh, on the map. So does uh, the cat and still have a pretty good detection radius, so it can like ping snipers while it's still cloaked itself? Uh, I do believe so. Yes. Yeah, that ability right there—that's you know, because snipers are one of the best counters to the PE, and that can really—it's. I mean, I think, yeah, it's, he, I mean, Pepsi knows there's going to be snipers. Keeping those, uh, those cloaked Luftwaffe, cloaked Luftwaffe, cat and crowds alive is going to be an important part of the game. It's going to be uh, key if Tommy opts to go for a WSC with maybe double snipers or something. You know, double snipers just rip the shred, the, the, you know, rip PE infantry to shred. Even mm. if you go for the extended squad size, uh, if you take two uh, casualties, you're down to 50% uh, on, the, on the squad size and you're forced to retreat anyway because, you know, two more bullets will uh, annihilate your squad. So, uh, you know, uh, it's very hard to play against uh, snipers as PE. You really need to use your cloaked kittens, uh, spot them, and then maybe chase them down with an armored car or the like. And does the uh, the current metagame still favor the fast M8? I've seen uh, I've seen different things uh, from US players, but uh, you know, the, the fast uh, M8 play is very prominent in the most PE uh, engagements. Yep, yeah, and uh, 
as one thing about Luftwaffe means we won't be seeing any tasty, tasty telemines. But uh, nonetheless, I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Kind of aggressive from Tommy right there, you know, making sure those uh, grenadiers are pushed back. Teaming the rifles with two engineer squads, doing plenty of firepower there. Yeah, he's going to try to lock down the cutoff and go for the fuel on the right-hand side. He's not capping it with his engineers. They're just chilling out. I'm not sure where they are. There we go. And, uh, they were just chilling. NG's in the uh, west side heading for that plus 10 fuel. So important to keep the Panzer really off the fuel. 3P squad are going to force off the capping engineers on the fuel on the right-hand side. However, the cutoff was taken and Tommy is now camping the heavy cover from the hay bales at the cutoff. It's going to be very, very hard for Pepsi to dislodge him, even though he has four PE squads there right now. And defensive operations upgraded, so uh, those PE will be able to heal up pretty quickly. Ooh, and very wow, nice. look at the damage. G43 slow goes in on one of the rifleman squads. They're doing a lot of damage, but at the same time... Oh, very nice retreat from Pepsi there, retreating at three man, 50% uh, yeah. health, and he can get healed up at base. Tommy really needs a flamer in this engagement. Yeah, Throw a flamer in the mix. Yeah, preservation was really um, what, what undid Pepsi in the last game. And I think he's aware of the mistakes he's made and he knows what he has to do here. He's beating out these rifles slowly and steadily. One squad forced retreat. Down to one man. If he gets focus fired, he could have lost that, but he's going to run the gauntlet, no problem. He's going for a cutoff with the engineers outside of Pepsi's base, and he's gotten the fuel as well with one of the engineer squads. First flamer pop in the strong building on the right-hand side here on Longre, while the Captain Crad goes to work and reclaims the cutoff, as he has also capped the fuel on the right-hand side now. So even though he lost the fuel on the left-hand side, he's going to regain the one on the right-hand side. He's pushing with his cannon. Very nicely played. Yeah. Cannon pushing, jeep pushing, bike pushing can really win you engagements. Yeah, it's that fight that makes the difference. First building going up for Pepsi. Sorry, second building going up for Pepsi. The camp group of company is up. Panzer and Jaeger. the Panzer Jaeger is on the way. Nothing built in the base for Tommy uh, so, so far. He's going for a three the rifle. For, uh, motor pool, perhaps. Nice kill for the engineers there. Manages to polish yeah. off one guy of that Pigman squad before forced retreat. Pepsi now guarding his cutoff with the G43 uh, Pigrens. He doesn't want to lose that again as he's lost the fuel on the left hand side. Captain Crad moving over. Those two rifle squads could have conceivably have run him though. Yeah, even though if he pops uh, G33, nah, he, he wisely just backs away from that engagement. He knows he can't win it, even if he pops slow. One yep. squad to you know suppress one squad is just not enough when three two other squad moves in. Cut off again for Tommy. And Tommy's doing a really good job of keeping Pepsi off the field right now. Yeah, he's got the plus 10 field on the left-hand side. It's got connected to Tommy, but uh, it's out of Pepsi's hands, which is going to delay his armored car. What's the fuel on an armored car? 25? Oh god, my, my the, the resource cost for PE units for me is completely out of whack, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've almost got a mirror engagement in the first engagement. Those flamers are too far back to be doing any use there. Yeah, but um, Pepsi can't move in either. And here we go, everything from Tommy is moving in. First, G43 suppression goes in on one of the rifleman squad. Uh, another rifleman squad is forced to retreat, but full retreat from Pepsi when the flamers move into range to flame them out of their yellow cover. One very low health squad, but in, in general, he got away pretty lightly there. Let's see, three man. Uh, every, well, yeah, all squads except one uh, still at three men with only uh, some health damage. And that uh, armored car is on the way now. Still, Still nothing, looking nothing, like, up. Yeah, nothing uh, looking like a counter. Tommy's doing uh, what I believe is an Armstrong strat here. He's going for stickies. He's going uh -huh. for four rifle stickies. I actually saw him use this exact same, tac uh, exact same tactic against Pepsi, uh, against uh, Hans in the semi-finals of this Raider tournament. Which uh, uh, was live nice uh, Yeah, I wonder if Pepsi watched those games. Maybe, I'm not sure. Wow, Sneaky Kedden going for a cutoff move of its own now. Flamer, yeah, Engineers no forced chance. off. Sticky Rifle's bomb upgraded. I bet the Kedden gets sticky. I'll play through a wager now. We're going to see a Kedden catch a sticky before the end of this match. 
those uh, pigrens on the left hand side was trying to stick in uh, the, the engagement against the two rifles as far as long as possible because he had MP44s upgrading on them. But he had he got no use out of them. Here we go, here's the armor card. If Pepsi rushes it, he might get sticky instantly. Here's the sticky animation, it goes off, he throws it on the armor card as well. Nice sticky it. from Tommy. Wow! Immobilized. Immobilized, it's very unlucky. But he is under covering fire, I believe, from the base ket and the base um flak veiling there. Don't know. Uh, not if he doesn't back up his armor car more. Here comes the second sticky, he's immobilized, he can't move away. Oh he loses the rifleman squad, but wow. here's the armor car. Not a good trade, I think, for Tommy. He needs all of his infantry to be able to stay, you know, uh, map domination. Yeah, I'd agree. It was a uh... It's hung in there a little bit too long. He really wanted to get it, but Tommy's map control has been really good so far. He's definitely kept uh, kept Pepsi on the back foot, although Pepsi's going to be able to produce another armored car pretty soon. Yeah, Tommy went for Sticky's triage and now putting up the supply yard in the base as well. You can do a, a little bit of a mix if you want to go for the triage first or the Sticky first. Uh, you know, it depends on the situation, but uh, generally it plays out like that. There's a triage and there's a Sticky upgrade. I think Pepsi is, uh, you know, fairly aware that Tommy might be doing what he did, but that immobilization crit was just not favorable for Pepsi. No, oh, just roll the dice in it. It's not a lot you can do. Um, he got lucky in some early engagements. I'm lucky in this one. Yeah, it's very hard to, you know, argue with uh, uh, an immobilization crit. You can't really uh, do anything. You just, you just take it and you know be a man about it. Big old force from me there pushing down south. Yeah, double flamers moving in. He has no use for uh, sweepers. One flamer NG might go down on retreat. It does get out of dodge in the nick of time, however. Second flamer is uh, focus fired, but uh, the MP44s were focus fired by the rifleman squads. Only one got suppressed by the G33 slow, and Tommy is now just gonna expand on his map domination even more. It's a bit 50 50 right now, but uh, with that uh, retreat from Pepsi, it's gonna take a little while before he comes onto the field in full force again. Second AC is constructed and built in Pepsi's base. Sneaky Ketan almost gets spotted by a rifleman squad from Tommy. Other uh, Ketan, Ketan is in the west is, yeah, fired getting on. messed up by engineers. What's that third engineer guy doing? Get in there! Kill him! Kill him! Ah, oh, he's gonna run out and probably cloak and just get away with him. That uh, armored car outside the base has to be very, very careful. Does not want to get himself stickied again. Yeah, he knows they're stickies now. He is moving and up to heavy got close. They've however. got very close. There comes sticky. And he's already damaged from small armor fire. He might get a nasty crit again. No crit! Uh, no crit, thank god. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Oh, G43 oh, squad gets polished squad. off by a vet 2 rifle. They were a vetted G43 squad as well, I think. They had some level of vet. Very unlucky. Yeah, I think he had uh, one stripe of vet on those. And that uh, MP44 squad runs up and is really messing them up, but don't lose the MP44 squad. Has to retreat through a little bit of negative cover road, but he does get out of dodge. He's uh, gonna be back at base and be fully healthy. Next to the new Panzer Support Command. Uh, yeah, he's probably expecting, you know, maybe uh, an M8, but the tank depot is actually going up in Tommy's base, which is the, the proper way to play this strategy. Straight to TD. Yeah, straight to TD. He just has so many advantages against the PE. Um, yeah. To, um, Pepsi is, you know, definitely going to build an uh, AT half track. He needs it. It's started, it started already, about a third of the way done. The he's going to be able to stall the Sherman at least, but uh, he's not going to be able to kill it. He's going to need uh, to keep it alive though. I wonder if we'll get some Luftwaffe ground crew support. Yeah, at this time, uh, Tommy's uh, fuel income is completely cut off almost. He's only got uh, 43 in the bank, so he's not going to be able to build a Sherman in quite a while. So he might opt to go for some form of tank destroyer, a uh, Hellcat probably. And this low health uh, armored car being approached by rifles. It's getting repaired. If he gets the sticky off, uh, he doesn't want to gamble. 
You know, those armored cars can really rip uh, riflemen to shreds. You know, one burst can almost kill an entire squad. Cut-off being uh, contested again. Multiple flame engineers. Wow, a lot of green uh, plus twos there. That was a very successful defense. Yeah, he popped G43 slow on one of their flamer squads, completely nullifying that the squad uh, as they get instantly pinned by G43 slow compared to rifles that only get suppressed a little bit. Ketan found out by a flamer squad. Uh, AC is trying to help him. Oh, he's not gonna get Good the kill! Pepsi now moving up very aggressively with his MP44s and G43s. Pepsi really doing the work as uh, PE here. Yeah. Uh, aggressive and consistent feeding those rifles the vet there though yeah I'm not exactly sure what Pepsi went for if he went for four pigrants in the beginning and then transition into uh, armored cars or if he went for even five pigrants I think it was five he did lose one squad I'm yeah. not sure Problem with that is that you, you, you can't potentially feed a lot of veterans C to the rifles. And uh, when rifles hit, you know, vet 2 and 3, especially with bar upgrades, they just rip the crap out of the uh, armored cars even. Here's the Hellcat. On the field, armored car is trying to run away with overdrive. The AT half track is just chilling out outside of Pepsi's base. Hellcat forces off some capping Panzer Grenadiers at the cutoff. They do get the cap, however. Let's see if Tommy can do what he did against Hans, which was basically just park outside of his base with all of his forces and lock in Pepsi inside of his base. That's what he did to Hans. Very, I don't very know, I'd brutal. say it's exceptionally feasible here. The Panzer Elite do not have the AT power needed to, uh, to deal with that Hellcat shreks? right now. He's got one Shrek squad and one uh, and the AT half track. How about the munitions in the bank at the moment? Because he needs a tread break. 41, yeah. Doesn't have enough right now. Will have very soon. Damaged engine on that armored car. Wow, well, nice move by the uh, AT half truck. They're spinning around on the spot really fast. He's now Another got 50. He can afford. There's the destroyed engine. Tread break in. He needs to pull back now. You can't. Be busted. Immobilized, destroyed, killed. Dang. And we have. Uh, Airborne Doctrine chosen for uh, Tommy right now. He unlocks Strafe and he's got 230 munitions in the bank. He's capping the whole left-hand side squad at the same time, left-hand side of the map, with four squads at the same time. He's just capping everything. He's going to triple cap Pepsi. Enough. Forces Pepsi to pull back. Uh, Pepsi can't capitalize on that recent uh, successful engagement right away. He has to go and deal with these capping units. Second Hellcat being produced in Tommy's tank depot. Tommy's just gonna keep up the pressure here. He's, not, he's just not gonna oh! lay back. That was a car blowing up. Sorry, I thought it was something else. Yep. Got all excited there for a sec. The, the green van always explodes. All Tommy needs is do a very. No! No! His What's that? Straight, his recon run actually got shut down, but I think it crashed off map. I think Tommy was gonna go for a sneaky uh, uh, base strafe. Base strafe, yeah. That was kind of unlucky. He had a reasonable expectation that recon plane could have just plowed the P base. <laughs> I could have crashed into the P guns. That would have been spectacular to watch. But yeah, second Hellcat up now from Tommy, combined with all of his forces. He's g getting a little bit of vet on basically everything in his arsenal right now. He's got some veterans here on one of his flamer squad. He's got vet two rifles with one rifles. Lots of rifles. Interesting that Pepsi seems to be favoring death vet on his uh, infantry. Well, defensive veterancy for MP44s are a good choice that you need to close the Oh, there's the strafe! It's massive! It's killed oh, everything! Wow. Trek's annihilated. It doesn't even drop either. I'm not sure how many... I think he killed at least two Pigman squads fully out there. Here comes the Hellcat as well. I think he annihilated one squad and took the other squad down to uh, one man. Oh, he must have killed two. I think it was two. There's so many corpses. Look at the map. It's just littered with pigrens. I think it killed maybe a Luftwaffe squad and a pigrens squad. Chaser, the enemy is stealing a victory point from That's uh, game changing right there. Extremely game changing. There's enough fuel in Tommy's bank account uh, yet again to produce another Hellcat if, if he wanted to. 
I said right now, I don't really think he needs to. He'll probably wait and see if he can get a Sherman. Might be uh, good actually. He's got three CPs, he needs to get the bank. Might be good actually. He's got three CPs in the bank as well. He could opt to go for an airborne AT gun, for example. Maybe I'm not sure what he needs to do. But right now, it's looking good. It's looking very favorable for Tommy. He's got an. Uh, he's got three flamers just roaming the field over and over again, just torching these pegrans. Yeah, those flamers have made a major nuisance of themselves. And they've got oh, the rifle God. squad there for the sticky. Oh, sticky on the Ketan! I called it. I called it. He clones get out of control, crashes into the ground. P uh, Ketan crab driver flies at least 50 yards. Yeah, this is uh, all very well beating up rifles in a house. I can't use stickies mm. at you there. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, he can't use strafe. Uh, a strafe would have been game changing right there again. Yeah. He would have really plowed Pepsi into the ground if he had enough for a strafe, but he's, uh, he's only at 140 munitions right now. Get the feeling we're going to see another strafe before too. Yeah, he, he's just waiting. 145. Incoming strafe. 150. Yeah, they're bunched up, they're bunched up. Double stick in a light AT half track. Instead of a strafe. Oh well. Might actually be a better choice. He's, uh, he is now immobilized on the road. And he can just pursue it with his VET 2 rifles. They have the force of trying to defend it. Very lucky to get away. Here comes the armored car trying to defend his brother in arms. Sticky again. Yeah, it's gonna kill it. So it's VET 2. Ah, oh, destroyed engine. I can't 5%. believe it. And there's After only all this on time. the field. You could probably just flame it left. It Holy probably. shit, have you seen the VPs? Oh yeah, he's uh, perhaps it's been triple capped because Tom is just harassing the map uh, so so professionally that Pepsi doesn't know where to go. He's completely surrounded on all flanks all the time. Da -ang, ang and here comes the Sherman as well, insult to injury. I do not see how Pepsi can get out of this. He's gonna tr desperately try to uh, repair his light AT half track, but he's not gonna be able to turn that it's immobilized. The tracks are busted. Here comes the Shrek. Shrek's not going to be enough against the Sherman. There goes the light AT half track. Yeah. And that's yeah, insufficient weight of AT. He cannot generate sufficient violence to uh, to dislodge Tommy's forces. Not with triple flamers. You're standing by in the center, waiting for the PE forces to approach. I'm just amazed we haven't seen an Allied sniper. Well, as he's playing the strat, uh, there's no WSC play in the strat. It's uh, four oh, rifles, hey. sticky triage, and straight to tank depot. It's very strong against PE, as you know, as everybody knows that watches the Pepsi streams, he really likes his PE play. Another sticky on the uh, arm car. Oh god, Shrek Gren goes down on retreat, and there's the towel. And yeah, Pepsi calls it. Wow. And basically, look what he has. He has. He has. Two Pigren squads with Shrex. He's got uh, one Luftwaffe squad and an armored car, which is basically almost dead. Yeah, that was a bit of a beating. I think it all hinged around that initial strafe that wiped out that uh, those AT squads. That coupled with the Hellcat play really, uh, really put them to bed. Yeah, that that strafe was uh, very game-changing. I think Tommy was still, you know, on top uh, before that strafe, but the strafe just sealed the deal. So here we are, 2-1 to Tommy. 2-1 to Tommy. Uh, another game on Longre is going to be played with the factions uh, reversed. So Tommy is going to play as the Axis and Pepsi as the Allies. Stay tuned, folks, for game four.